Hi guys, thanks for joining me again. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Anne and on my channel, I review foreign international content. Today, I'm back to review this excellent show and we're in episode nine and 10. And oh my God, hit in, hit in. Here at the end, I mean, she got me in tears. And I'm like, I don't know if to love her or hate her at the same time, but oh my gosh. I'm like, has the ice cream finally dropped the pride? Cause she's got so much pride. Oh my God. Like here, when it was like checkmate, Mr. Yoon, right? Cause here's Mr. Yoon thinking, oh, she's gonna say everything I want her to say. You know, she's gonna go back to being the CEO and then we're gonna get married, which I'm like, you're so delusional. But she was like, nope. He has threatened me and my husband, and I don't have long to live. It was like, what? I was like, okay, girl. And now she's looking at Hyun Woo with all the lovey-dovey eyes and tears in her eyes, and Hyun Woo is in tears. I mean, their relationship is so like confusing and frustrating. It's heartwarming, yet so heartbreaking. Oh my God, I'm just letting you know. The next episode, we are about to cry. Pull out your tissues. She just said she doesn't have long to live. And obviously now it seems like her family has found out. And oh my gosh, it looks like it's going to be tough next week. But that being said, I cannot wait to see them bringing down Mr. Yoon now that the secret is out. But first, let's just go to their relationship, episode 9 and 10. She's like, oh no, don't care about me. We got a divorce. On the other hand, she's over there putting ointments on his uh, wound. She's putting a band-aid. It's almost like she's missing him as he's driving away to the point where he's like, he stops the car and like comes back because he can tell like you are acting like you're all strong and don't care about me, but you do. Then they're ending up sitting together and eating ice cream. And I'm just like, oh my God, they're so in love. On the other hand, she's like, don't care about me. And then here's Hyun Woo going like, even if I had known that this would happen, I would still do it again. I'm like, okay, okay, come on, you guys, come on. Just go ahead and drop the act and just say you love each other instead of this, you don't have to care about me, you don't have to care about me. And it's all her, right? Because Hyun Woo is in love with her. I mean, he said, he was like, she likes me, she doesn't like me. She likes me, she doesn't like me. And at the end, he's like, I just don't like her. I love her. Sarange, sarange, hey in. Like, come on girl, just accept the love. You know you love him too, right? Like you love him. Then we saw a preview next week where she's like, I don't want to die before I tell you I love you too. Oh, come on. Like, <laughs> Their relationship is killing us. Their relationship is killing us. Anyway, let's go to Mr. Yoon. So Mr. Yoon has taken the upper hand uh, from the mother and stole Mr. Chairman when he was in a coma and has taken him to another hospital and is hiding him there. So that way now mom is going to have to listen to what I say. And by the way, did you see the chairman has woken up? Oh, oh, we are about to have trouble. Then the other thing that I think is interesting is the fact that now we got Hyun Woo and the aunt and Grace. Grace now has switched sides. I don't trust her though. I do not trust Grace. I know she's now coming on this side to help them to find the chairman, which they have found where Mr. Yoon is hiding the chairman. And I'm glad that Hyun Woo is here to take it down for that investment fraud. So I cannot wait to see what becomes of that. But Grace, Grace, I don't trust her because if she can switch, that means that she can switch right back again and start helping Mr. Yoon. So we're going to keep an eye on her, although right now she's helping them, but I still don't trust her. She thought she was going to be the CEO. She was going to take her spot. What? Like, girl, why would you inflate yourself that much? Even the mother of Mr. Yoon was like, we've done some serious sacrifices here. Like I haven't been able to see my son. I worked as the maid and you think you should get the CEO job when you are over here serving them, doing the easy job. So she's like, mm, no, I don't think you sh should get the CEO position, right? Like, come on, like come down. So for that reason, I don't trust Grace. Now the family, the family at the farm was hilarious. <laughs> so chill. I mean, he's like, 
I don't drink uh, regular water, water from the kettle. I drink sealed water, you know, from the Alps. And then the dad is like, oh yeah, leave him alone, okay? I I'll take water from Germany, Australia, Fiji, that would be great. Leave him alone with the Alps water. And he Ian is like, I'm gonna kill him. I'm just gonna, these people. Now we know where Sochil, although he's immature, we know where he gets it from, his dad. His dad is as spoiled as he is, right? I was just like, what is wrong with you? But it's so nice to see them in the farm. I feel like they've become better people just with the experiences and now things not coming so easy to them. The mother, the mother went from, you know, wearing designer shoes and stepping into cow dung. And then now by this episode, she actually looked like she changed how she's dressed. And she's, I think, starting to get along with the village ladies. And it's so good to see the transformation, but I love Hyo Woon's mother and the way she's treating her and her finding out that she's actually sick. Oh, you could tell even her mother is jealous of how well uh, Hyun Woon's mother is treating her, right? I thought that's interesting. But just the family just evolving and becoming better people, that is so nice to see. And by the way, I know, we know So Chill is immature as all get out, naive, just even she calls him an idiot. But one thing you cannot take away from him is he is a fantastic father. Oh my God, the way he's so heartbroken in the fact that day he left him and then he finally is able to get a hold of her during the video game thing. And the first thing he says, make sure that our son gets his immunizations. And then they showed that video of him like he was crying when his child is getting the immunization only the fact that we know now because he got the letter that is not his son but he still cares i'm like what a fantastic dad i think day he is gonna come back i think she'll come back because she'll be like there's no way i know he's not the smartest tool in the toolbox but he's he's a good person he's just not smart but he's a good person and like excellent fantastic father there's a lot of fathers out there do not do half of what he is doing just that love is undeniable right so i hope she comes back she kind of like gets back to her senses and be like okay i know it's part of the plan but he was a good man at the end of it all right so i think that'll be interesting the other person that i think is really cool is the aunt obviously aunt the aunt is our favorite i think she's gonna fall in love with our village guy right i was like hmm I think she's gonna fall in love with him, right? The way they're interacting and the way he was like, look, next time don't cry like a fool. Go ahead and just eat. Eat a lot of protein. Eat a lot of meat. You'll feel better. I think that's cool. But anyway, I cannot wait to see 11 and 12. I'm ready for Hyun Woo and Hae In, the whole family to come together. Now that she's awake, let's win back the company and get rid of Mr. Yoon and the mother for good, right? You could tell he was shaking like, hey, you're not supposed to share that. Like, come on, come on. And the fact that he's just thinking, oh, I am, I'm just going to make her my CEO and then she can marry me and we can live happily ever after, right? Even the mother was like, oh, you convinced her to marry you? Almost like, wow, that was fast, right? So that's interesting. Anyway, what did you think of episode nine and 10? I mean, I think this show definitely picked up. I do feel every episode we watch, we are headed for a really, really sad ending and our hearts are about to get so broken. We're about to cry. We're about to cry. I can see it coming. Their relationship is, oh, so heartwarming at the same time. So heartbreaking and confusing and, but oh, oof, I can see it coming. We are going to cry because I don't think she makes it the way it's going. So we'll see, but we're here for it. I'm happy for how it's picked up. And I'm also happy for the fact that her family, it's like their eyes are starting getting open. But all in all, an excellent, excellent show. Uh, let me know what you thought in the comment section as usual. And if you like my video, give me a like, subscribe. It does help support my channel. And I'll see you next week when I review episode 11 and 12. Deuces.